Okay. So straight away we've got one of these dredge dead shrubs and these like are really rare, but they don't have a point to them. And um yeah, I mean I mean it's just for scenery and uh, they they don't really do anything. Very basic, very simple, but it does make the game better because it wants to be more realistic and things like that, so let it be I suppose. Okay. So we're moving on to try and find some tall grass, such wild grass. I call it wild grass because there's, there was a uh, a mod speculating wild slash long grass, and um, so notches sort of added it into the game. Um, so here we have some um, long grass, and it sort of spreads over grass um, over time. Um, as you see there's quite a lot over there and eventually if you don't sort of take it down um, and destroy it it will just uh, sort of ruin your world with tons and tons of long grass um, but there is a point to this long grass and if you it is a rare thing to happen but you get your seeds from look you get seeds from the long grass so it's a new um, way of farming Okay, so I'm going to get some wood and I'm going to show you some uh, a new thing called a hatch or some people call it trapdoor. Um, I suppose you can call it a trapdoor because that's kind of what it looks like and it's going to be used for in like custom maps etc. But um, obviously I'm going to need some wood, I'm going to need some crafting table. Okay. Okay, so we've got a crafting table, and what you need to do is you need to do a six row of uh, wooden planks, and you will get these hatches. And they're in the game; they're called trapdoors. Okay, you get two stacks of two from six wooden planks, and it's fairly simple. Um, what you can do is sort of make a hole and then just put that there and what will happen is that it will stop you falling in but and it will protect you from anything that will fall in but you can also open it and fall down it's a very basic very simple but a very good add to the game okay now ways in which this can be used is my idea or is mainly in like secret entrances to houses or just a new door I suppose um, a new way of creating a house um, you know um, safety etc um, and it's very good for use with like ladders and stuff and you know get hatch out into the outside world um, but it will probably I'm gonna kill that chicken. It will, it will probably be uh, used mostly in custom maps um, in the future. Okay, so I'm just gonna create like a little housey thing. Um, I'm just gonna need some more wood. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one of the ways you can have it have the hatch as your sort of defense slash opening. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for a while and I'm going to skip ahead so you can see the end result. Okay, so I've made a very basic house and just to show off uh, what you can do with the hatch. So um, if you come up here, um, very simple, just come up here and you've got this, this is the hatch. And it also um, acts like a door as it like lets in um, light, so you don't need to worry too much about light. But they, when we've got this, and you just go down on the ladder, and you close it up to keep yourself safe, and you put a bed in and you sleep. Pretty very well, not pretty simple, but very very simple. And um, I think I'll probably be using it for like uh, escape hatches, defensive positions, and 
like mining, I think, especially because uh, like you don't want you you, you don't want to walk into a hole or something that you've created from mining. Okay, now we're going to move on to other things in the new. So as track. you can see, we have come to the end of the map. And what will happen is that your cursor, your white cursor, as you can see, um, oh, sorry, as you can see right at the top, um, will disappear, and so you can't see anything more. And right now, I'm at, I'm not at that. Uh, I'm like sort of coming up to a desert part, and you can't see that because the map has run out of space. So what you need to do is then, is then spawn another map and do it from there, which personally I think is quite ridiculous. Because then you can't have accurate, you know, maps of places where you want to go. But, to be fair, the the distance it can go is pretty far. And, um, it sort of makes up for that. So just like I said, as you can now see, I'm not on it anymore. I'm at, right at the top. But I can't be seen because the map has run out of distance. There have been, um, many new, um bug fixes in this new update um, and I think that's one of the main things that Notch was trying to sort out and one one of the things that I was really happy about is fixing Minecraft survival multiplayer uh, portals to the nether so now it actually works and you can actually go through the portal in multiplayer and I promise you this is multiplayer Malzahar isn't up here at the moment, this is multiplayer and um they now work. Woo! Whoosh. Ah. And uh yeah, if you haven't seen this before um, this is for nether, and um, one other thing about the nether, is that, if I can find this ghast, to get to shoot me or something, um, well anyway, ghasts used to be really buggy, like you couldn't see them shooting you, and then you'd just like randomly blow up, um, and die. But now, you can actually see their fireballs coming towards you, and you can do something about it. Another thing that uh, Notch has fixed is when there is a Minecraft crash, the crash uh, screen doesn't disappear straight away. Um, I suppose that kind of helps in the fact that, uh, y you know, uh, <laughs> you, um, you get to see sort of what's the problem and how to sort of solve it, otherwise, you know, you don't know what to do, don't know where to go, don't know where to get advice, etc. Um, he's fixed sort of like arrow bugs where you shoot arrows in multiplayer and stuff and they spaz out in the air and other things just like that. Also, another thing that you won't be able to see, um, but you will notice that is in multiplayer, you can, uh, you can see other people um, Hitting blocks. Hey guys, uh, I've been doing stuff with this trap doors, and over here, I've made a little trap. Well, no, it's not a trap, this one, but it's you can make little underground bunkers if you know what I mean. Yeah, and they're very safe. Like, uh, it's just like a wall. Um, they're smaller than sort of half blocks in the such, and. It's like a door that sort of goes flat to the side, look, look, which this. gives you space. So this is a half point. You go boom, 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 boom. There now, was a mod of this as well. There was now, a mod of now, this. now, is it possible to put it underneath something and then yeah. put something on it? So d tr show us that. Okay. Put, put something well, on. As you, as you can see, this look. There's ladders here, and you can. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, very, you, you know, you well right? worked. Uh, you, made, you said you made something, right? Oh, yeah. Out of these amazing things. The problem is, uh, you've made it so we can't get out of this. 
Yeah, you can. I've got out four. You idiot. You just press spacebar while you're on the leather. And, and press upwards key. W. Like that. Alright, like you have to look that way. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> right, you okay. Just, um, this is, you, this is... you said you wanted to... Yeah, um, I wanted I wanted to show you or how this could be used as oh. a trap, and what we've got here is a, a bunker of lava and now, the trapdoors. I'm, I'm a little boy. Do, 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 do. Ooh, oh no! What's happening? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And that's the end of him. There's also another thing which I am testing out. I'm, I'm relying on a a website that's told me uh, that this is true, but quite excitingly, if you make your chest as so, put down your chest, right? Okay, and then you've got say this stack and this stack, right? Apparently, shift clicking it brings the whole, um, the whole stack to your inventory. I'm going to replay that, I'm going to shift, then I'm going to click, it's in my inventory. Shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, that, 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 <laughs> Sorry, it was such a tongue twister, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is really good, really, really good. No, I am liking that a lot. Wee. 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 Oh, it's addictive. Replay. Slow motion. Okay, maybe it's not slow motion. Um. Yeah, that is really cool and really handy for things like getting stacks and stacks of cobblestone. Um, that's when I said anything else. Uh, to be honest, there's been like loads and loads and loads of bug fixes, but I mean, y you could name them all, but you wouldn't realise that you get those sort of bugs every day. But most of them occur in uh, multiplayer uh, because it's uh, hard to control or whatever but you know um but those have been fixed and you might realize you might not i think you probably won't realize the fact that you know they have actually been fixed You're, you'll just be like oh oh that you that didn't used to be you know like it is now i mean for example leave levers on multiplayer you could put them in really dodgy locations and they'd still work on you know the original location. I mean, you could pull the lever and it could change its location. It was that was that sort of weird thing. I mean, you could shoot arrows into uh, things like leaves and portals, but they would they would hit the actual portal, and it wouldn't make sense because it's not a solid object. And now it just goes through the objects because it's not solid. Um, but yeah, you can look up. Um, Every bug fix there is um, on a link I'm going to put in the description, and um, we will see you again doing more um, news and updates on Minecraft next time there's a patch, next time there's a mod patch or whatever. Um, but yeah, keep keep staying tuned and make sure you watch this video, all the video, to see everything that you need to see.